What's up everybody, welcome to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the full hyper hook. I got many requests on this trick and so today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and just on how to do it. Uh, it's one of my favorite go-to tricks and so let's get to it. trick uh, and you can do it for many other setups today I'm gonna be demonstrating it for my cart and so yeah just do whatever setup you're comfortable with some prereqs for this trick is just being able to do a full comfortably and a really high full and you don't necessarily need to know how to do a full swipe but a full swipe would definitely help you understand the trick easier I do my car full hyper hooks uh, this my set is different from if I was going to do a double full uh, just because it's just a single twist I don't need a twist right off the floor whenever I do my full hyper hooks I want to get as high as I can as as floaty as I can and so when I finish my cart and I'm in this position my arms instead of twisting straight up the floor I'm gonna try to use my arm to go to upwards motion and my shoulders are what's gonna give me that lift and so when I go up my left shoulder is gonna come up and my right shoulder is gonna follow it and it's gonna come all the way around and that's gonna give me the lift that I need. So once you have practiced your full and your warming up your full, next what you wanna do is just practice getting the full and adding an extra quarter turn. And that's just gonna get you used to um, landing sideways because when you do the hyper hook, that's the same position that you're gonna land. Alright guys, so after you have been practicing doing your full and adding that quarter turn little by little, what you want to do next is keep practicing that, but this time when you're thinking of it, you want to do your full and instead of landing on two feet on the quarter turn, you want to try to separate your legs as soon as you can and that's just, that's what's going to make your feet land separately, one, two. So instead of landing two feet, if you separate your feet earlier, it's going to land one, two. So that's going to give more of the uh, hyper hook motion. Uh, when I was first learning it, um, Something that I always had to tell myself in my head is whenever I'm doing my cart, is my non-hook hooking leg is gonna be the one that's gonna touch the floor first. And so that really helps when you're doing your full hyper hook or starting to learn it. It's just getting out of your setup, doing your full, and think that, oh, my non-hooking leg is gonna be the one that's gonna touch the floor first. So then that's when you're gonna try to get the non-hooking leg to get on the floor. And so whenever you're doing the hyper hook, if you're twisting to the left, like me, I'm gonna try to land on my right foot. If you're twisting to the right, that's the opposite. One tip for getting your hook kick to be uh, big and like round is your hips. If your hips, if you're landing and your hips are still square facing the direction that you were coming from, your hook kick, hook kick is not gonna be really big. What you wanna do is rotate your hips to be facing, facing the side. And so that is what's gonna make your hook kick better and just bigger. If you really want your hook kick to be really good and pronounced, practice just a hook kick. Just practicing the basic would definitely make this trick a lot better. And a lot of trickers out there would tell you so. Something that I see that a lot of people do that's really bad is when they get off of the cart and they're going into the full, they're using the shoulders, but they're not using the legs. And so really important thing is you want to extend your legs all the way up and get that maximum what is it power of your legs your legs is one of the most powerful things that you have and so you want to use the full potential of it to extend all the way with your shoulders and that's going to give you the height that you want and then in order to get that hook kick up and so thank you guys for watching and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what other tutorial you guys would like to see from me and yeah thank you guys for watching